Welcome back to the channel guys. Tonight we're going to be loading up Supermodel 3. Supermodel 3 is a really cool emulator from Sega. It has four great games that we can play. We can play LA Machine Guns, Lost World Jurassic Park, Ocean Hunter, and of course my favorite, Star Wars Trilogy. So first of all I want to give a shout out to the contributors, Cheeky and Prince and Luther and the rest of them that have put a lot of work into this and of course our developer, Dirtbag Exxon. Now, a lot of help has come from these guys putting this together, allowing us to be able to play these games, and I can't wait. Alright, so I've got my machine imaged with Barebones 8.1. There's a video in the link above if you want to learn how to do that. But this should work on your Raspberry Pi 4 just fine. So I've logged into my Raspberry Pi 4. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and drag over the scripts. I'll make these scripts available and they'll be up on the description, of course. That way you can use them. Basically, what you want to do is take the script and the supermodel.txt and just go ahead and put those over into the HomePy directory. Once it's in the HomePy directory, we're going to go ahead and go on the command line now. So, launch your putty and log in. we go once you're logged in what we're gonna do is just make the executable or sorry make the script executable so we'll do a chmod 755 on the install script for supermodel 3 now what we want to do is go ahead and run the script so type dot slash install supermodel 3 and as long as your system is online this should work just fine so I'm gonna let this run this should take only about five minutes or less depending on your connection, and then we'll get back over and continue. All right, guys, we got Supermodel 3 installed. Now what we're going to do is a little bit of configuration. This will all be in the compatibility list spreadsheet, so you can always check it, okay? Right now, I just got to restart emulation station. All right, now we should have some ROMs. One of the things is you're going to need a keyboard and a joypad. You could probably, or joystick, you could probably do it with just a joystick. The instructions are going to be written for a keyboard just because it's a lot easier and more intuitive. I tried it with a joystick. I kept hitting the wrong buttons no matter what I tried. Okay, it's just not very intuitive. So anyway, let's get to you know configuring Star Wars, have a little fun, and let the force be with me, right? So first thing I'm going to do, actually I was already in there. I'll go ahead and start up. So these are one-player games for now. Uh, Dirtbag Exxon can probably explain to you why he can't do or they can't do two-player yet. It has something to do with the raw input. I don't fully understand it, so I'm not even going to pretend like I do. So anyway, it's one player for now. So we're going to start at player one. Okay, and we're going to go to Arcade Classics. And let's start up Star Wars Trilogy. So as it's coming up, we're gonna hit the A button. So what we're gonna do is go down to video mode, okay? Which is the fourth option down. You're gonna hit A, and you're gonna scroll all the way down. You can test these at your own peril, but trust me, the bottom one is the best. It gives you the largest screen because this is not gonna run full screen. There's a limitation with SDL on the Pi, and so we have to deal with you know, three-quarter screen. So the very bottom one is 720 by 400 at 70 hertz. Go ahead and uh, select that. So then we'll just go down to launch and hit A. Cool, now my TV is gonna refresh and there it is, 720 by 400 at 70 hertz. Now I'm gonna grab my keyboard. There we go, much better. You guys probably still can't read it, but uh, so I'm gonna look at my notes just to make sure I get this right because I've only done it twice. <laughs> so you wanna enter the test menu by hitting seven. Okay, there we go. And what we want to do, uh, so seven and eight navigate. Okay, that's how I remember it. Seven and eight navigate. Okay, so eight is how you cycle, and seven is how you actually select something. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do, so we're going to go to game assignments, so you hit number seven, and you're going to go down to cabinet type uh, with your eight key, and then number seven, you're going to cycle it off of DX and go to UR. See, the cool thing is, once you do this, you won't have to do it again. So don't worry about this. Once you set this up, you're all good. Cycle back, I skipped one. We also want to do coin assignments. And the reason is there's a glitch with Star Wars specifically. 
that if you put in a coin before Vader, you know, that whole scene is done, um, <laughs> it freezes the game. So put this on free play, which is 27, there it is. And we'll go to exit. So, so far we've done game assignments and we've done uh, the coin assignments. Next thing we wanna do is calibrate. And I'm gonna have to do this both with my keyboard and the gun. Um, so let's do that. It's gonna be a little tricky, but we can do it. All right, so while we're in here, flip lever, we are gonna do this. We're gonna set it to up, down, down is up. Uh, the reason is, is because otherwise it will be inverted. Uh, if it's inverted, just go back. But for me, I had to change this. Uh, this will also be in the game uh, compatibility list for instructions, okay? Yep, wrong gun. <laughs> Rookies. All right, so that looks pretty good. We'll do number seven. And now what we're gonna do is uh, leave the control pad centered. Yep, so this is centering it right here, okay? It doesn't have to be exact, okay? Looks pretty good, so we're gonna hit number eight. Okay, now we're gonna do range of motion. So you go to the left, go to the right, and go up and go down. And that gives it the max values. Okay, and you hit eight again, and just kind of test it out, make sure that it, it goes to the corners. Looks like it is. Cool. Okay, and then eight to cycle down to exit, and there we go. Okay. All right, last thing that we wanna do is change the country. And this is like a little contra code, it's pretty cool. You gotta know the contra code, okay? So what you wanna do, let's see, or sorry, the eight key. Okay, you wanna go short, 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 hold it long, one, two, hold it long, one, two, short, short, hold it long, one, two. And boom, country code comes up. Okay, once it comes up, you wanna change it to your country uh, so eight is how you cycle the countries. So you can go Japan, US, Australia, Korea, blah, blah, blah. I'm going US. So you select it to, with eight and you set it with seven. Okay, uh, we've done everything we need to do and go to exit. There we go. And actually have the right freaking gun. What a noob. All right, so I'm gonna grab the gun and the volume. Oh yeah. That's right, Luke. I am not your puppy. All right, so I think I'm good. I'm not blocking. Um, the front left button is the key to select. So I have the choice to play. We'll do this. All right. So hopefully I'm not in the way, guys. I'm trying my best here <laughs> to back up as far as I can and not get in the way. All right. Oops. Bumped the camera. <laughs> A little too loud. So this does kind of steer you as well. Get out of here. So you can hold it and it shoots or you can pull the trigger and it shoots, okay? Those are your two options. I can't shake them, Star Fox. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. So obviously this is running pretty smooth on the Pi 4. I don't think this will run on the Pi 3 at all. Uh, we will be implementing... I'll turn this down a little bit. We will be implementing this as part of uh, standard BB9 so that you don't have to go through all this. But since it's working now, we figured, hey, why not? Uh, the guys were pretty excited about it. Um, so was I. I was like, yeah, we got to get a write-up. We got to get something. So anyway, uh, we put this together. Um, definitely give a shout out to Dirtbag Dirt Exxon. Uh, 
Mickey and Prince and Luther, uh, Tomsty, you know, the, the contributors that are really putting time into um, time into this. Prince really kind of took the lead on it, so I'll give him the most credit. Uh, if there's any uh, issues with it, hit him up only. No, I'm just kidding. You can hit us all up. We'll, we'll do our best to help you. But um, yeah, this is something really great. We've been very excited to continually add ROMs and get them configured and to continually add uh, even new emulators. Luther's been reaching out to a lot of the other devs as well, trying to get new emulators for you guys and just you know constantly growing the library that you can play on the Pi 4. So anyway, guys, whew, kicking some butt. But yeah, it's working. Whoa, getting all tangled here. But anyway, guys, really appreciate you watching. If you have questions, hit us up on the Discord channel. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully you enjoy the games. Check the compatibility list, check the wiki, and hopefully it answers your questions and shows you what you gotta do to set up the games for the Supermodel 3. Laters. I died. Pew, pew, pew.